Hey everyone, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at some exotic scales. Um, this is really just the part, the first part of these, this series. We're going to take a look at some scales from Japan. So let's dive right into it here. We have five scale forms here. If you download the tab PDF that comes with this lesson, you'll find it in the video's description. And I'm going to play everything over an E root note. So we're going to just basically have... So that is just so you can get the sound of the scale in your ear. So I'm going to give you a little E foundation. So I'm going to do everything around off that root E note um, so you can hear the differences in the scales. And then if you like that scale, I'm going to give you the formula for each scale too on the tab paper, which will allow you to go and form your own patterns um, with that scale. So let's dive right into it. The first one is just basically it was just kind of standard called the Japanese scale. And all of these scales are like a subset of the pentatonic scale, meaning they're all five note scales. So you should be able to develop five scale forms for each one. The first one I have for you on each one of these, which is the one built off the root note of the scale, which in this case is gonna be E. So that's, we're gonna be building everything off this E at the 12th fret, all right? So this, this Japanese scale is a, a one, a flat second, a fourth, a fifth, and a flat sixth. And if you don't know what that is, those are the, the notes in the scale. So if you have like the key of E, you'd have the note E would be one, and then you would have a flat second, which in the key of E, uh, if you compare everything to a major scale basically, instead a flat second is gonna be an F in the key of E major, and then the fourth tone is an A, and then the fifth tone is a B, and then a flat sixth is gonna be a C. So Let's take a look at these. This scale basically sounds like this. So you're gonna hear a little differences, watch, and when we go to the next one. This next scale is a Hirochosi is from Japan. All these usually scales are named after regions of the country, um, and they're, they're like this. This specific scale, the Hirochosi, was a is a the tuning of a koto drums. Um, so it's been adapted for a, a scale tuning, and um, here we are applying it to guitar. These types of scales are used a lot. If you hear like Marty Friedman, Jason Becker, um, a lot of jazz, rock, and um, metal musicians use them to kind of mix up the sound, uh, get away from the basic you know, pentatonic scale that we always play. So this one's a really cool sounding one. So you can hear I'm, I'm trying to leave an open E underneath the entire thing and playing the scale over that. Obviously you can just have like a backing track, uh, record uh, yourself playing an E minor chord underneath it, and then play with that. But for the purposes of this video, just be able to have a little foundation. I'm just adding that low E and then playing over it. Okay, this next is a, this next uh, scale from Japan has a different scale formula. It's a one, two, flat third, and five, and six. Okay? And it's going to sound like this. So it's just like the scale we just played, except with a, a major six instead of a minor six. So it kind of gives you like a Japanese Dorian sound. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so this next one is works over basically a single bass note or a power chord of the same name. Um, since it doesn't have a third in it, you could pretty much play a minor chord over it too, so you really won't clash. Um, since it's got a flat second and a regular perfect fourth in it, we're going to have no clashing notes. It's not going to be half steps away when you play a the minor second, I mean minor third, uh, the flat third on it. So we have here. A little bit different. We're going to be starting now. 
since we have this flat too, we can have, we have 12, 13. Uh, hopefully you're following along the tabs because I am kind of flying right through these things. Then 12, 14. So this is basically just trying to get the sound of these in your head. Some of them sound a little bit more dissonant than the others. You might want to listen to this, watch this video a few times and just try to start picking out the differences in these, the sound of the scale. Uh, probably the most used one would be that Hirochoshi, the second one. And this last one would probably be the, um, is used a lot as well. It's quite a bit more dissonant sounding than all the others. So uh, check this out. So I threw a little chromatic line in there, but you can see the notes that I'm landing on are the notes of the actual scale that we are working with. Okay, so these scales definitely sound completely different, and the great thing is they are five-note five, uh, five note scales. So what I would tell you to do is spell out those five notes of each scale. So say you want to do all these in E and you liked the, uh, the second scale on the page or the fifth scale on the page. Well, I did the root note position for you already. And so the next note, so the next thing you do is now I need to, say if it's the last scale on the page, you want to do five forms for it, just like five pentatonics. And uh, you've already done the one built off the one because it's on the paper for you. Then you do a shape starting with the flat second and you have two notes per string from there. So you'd use the flat second and the fourth on the low sixth string, and then the flat fifth and the flat seventh on the fifth string, and then the first and the flat second on the fourth string and so forth. Build that, figure out all those notes and create those scale forms. And then start with building a shape off the fourth scale degree, which is the third note in the scale. So you have five shapes and they're all two notes per string, just like your standard pentatonic shapes, which allows you to do a lot of your pentatonic licks um, but with these scales, which will obviously completely change the sound. So it sounds nothing like the standard minor and major pentatonic we're all used to. So this is just the beginning. I just want to kind of expose you to some of these exotic scales. We're going to look at some scales for some other si uh, you know, parts of the world. Uh, maybe kind of um, you know, kickstart your ear into a little bit of creativity um, and kind of playing outside of these standard scale forms that we're always playing in. Okay, so please go to guitarlessons365.com. Let me know what other types of lessons you see or types of uh, exotic scales you'd be interested in seeing, and I'll get to work on them. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.